Okay, today I'm doing the unboxing of the Vitamix 780. Um, this is what I've been currently using, the uh, Omega Vert, which is this one. I have the past, this one right here, I have the past being cleaned right now. And the Omega 8006. I use the 8006 to juice vegetables and I use the vert to juice the fruits but um, I've been having issues with, um, with with a regular blender to juice the crush the seeds and stuff so I went off uh, fruits and vegetables some of the fruits like strawberries and blueberries and blackberries so I went and got this yesterday actually fr uh, two days ago I went to the uh, Maryland uh, home and garden show but I didn't have this blender at all I couldn't even purchase it or order it so I ended up uh, having to go to Williams Sonoma and picking this up for $699.95 plus tax and um, I'll do an unboxing oh that's my refrigerator in this game so um, but this is the thing, box it's not a massive massive box you know, compared to the items around, it's really compact. But I will do an uh, unboxing, which is something I typically don't do. I already removed this seal that was there, the plastic seal, to make this easy. Flip this up like that. Like that. This flips over. Oh, look at that. I'll slide this out and bend this back. Okay, and then you get this cardboard here there's nothing in there and comes with a cookbook and the owner's manual this is the owner's manual and that's the cookbook that comes with it it's fairly thick you know it's a nice uh, big book then there's another flap nothing under there just foam that and you look inside what you get is the jar the 780 and right there is a tamper see if I can give you all a view from above and there's nothing else in the box so let's go ahead and remove the items see how hard it is to do with one hand that's fairly in there, so take this tamper out, set that there, and looks like because it's so heavy, I will have to set this down. Okay, here is the Vitamix 780. Get the programmable the settings there, touch screen. The reason I purchased a touch screen one instead of the 750 is that I have kids that use this and one of them is aspiring to be a chef one day and this is easier to clean in my opinion that's why I purchased it and of course you got the container and lastly the tumbler that came with it okay I'm going to put this together and set it next to the current blender that I use, which happens to be this little Walmart store-bought one. It worked fine for uh, blending up avocados. Okay, before I set this up next to the other blender, I thought I would turn it upside down. And on the side, of course, you got the face where the controls are. Up to the side is the on-off switch, and under it, there's a cool little feature to wrap cord, put the stir, so to store the cord, the excess of cord, so it's not hanging all over the place, which I think is a really neat feature. And of course, you got a little notch right there for sticking it out and up the back. This is a really cool little feature, and of course, there is. Turn it around. Looks like there's a vent back there and some kind of a hook up there for something. 
I guess probably to reprogram it. Once I read the owner's manual, I'll find out what that is. I'll find out what that is and be able to address it. But again, there's this little thing right here for hooking up something to program it, I would think. Of course, the seal, this comes off to clean. Can come off to clean. Um, the only uh, commercial uh, blender I've had that can even rival this was a wearing commercial blender 3 uh, horsepower blender but that broke the, um, the gear from under it broke and they didn't have parts to replace it unless I bought a whole new jar and that was like $200 so uh, I didn't bother with that but this has a 7 year warranty even and it's the newest one so let's hope it lasts me 30 years like what some people like some people have said it's last them they in that uh, the Vitamix brand okay here is the Vitamix next to my uh, Walmart store-bought blender it's considerably bigger of course but I got a high enough counter for it to fit on the set of two feet off, off the uh, from the stainless steel to the uh, countertop right there which is under my microwave so um, I will do another video using it since uh, there will be a really big learning curve for me because uh, again all my juicing was done in this the, uh, the, the 8006 and the, uh, the vert from Omega and um, I wanted to start using this because it's so time consuming juicing using the, um, the 38006 and then I was losing a lot of fiber using the vert for the, uh, for the fruits and using it as a colander just to get rid of the grainy texture. This uh, Vitamix seems to do all that fairly well so I'm going to put it to the test. It take me a while to learn because what I've been doing is buying cases of uh, like uh, watercress and cases of uh, you know, kale, uh, like my water kefir, cases of uh, avocados, uh, pineapples, things like that. So um, hopefully this will allow me to not have a whole lot of waste and allow me to save some money. Um, and I understand I can make ice cream and other things in it. So. I will keep you all posted. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please comment and subscribe and, um, and I'll be posting more.